today I'm going to be playing the World War I mod in Hearts of Iron 4 is none other than the Russian Empire. Woohoo! Now this isn't that cool red colored Russia that you probably know about. This is the Russia that has half its population homeless working on the farms. Not to mention you have this embarrassment of a monarch. Now luckily there is one solution that can fix all of our problems, and that is by painting this pie chart red. Yes. The power of communism is that strong, my friends. Or should I say, my comrades. Now you may be wondering how I'm actually going to go communist, and it's actually pretty simple. Simpler than you'd think, I mean, I don't have to really stage a coup in my own country like I would in the vanilla game. I just have to let my country go to hell. Okay, so I don't know how long it's been like that for, but I just looked at my microphone and noticed my gain was turned up quite a bit. So if I sound loud in the beginning of this video, my apologies, that is a horrible thing. A focus that decreases my stability and increases my communism? Of course I'll take that. So I just had this weird dude come up to the King's Palace in St. Petersburg. If, if you don't know what the King's Palace is, it's this factory looking thing right here. But he came, this weird guy came up to sit in my palace and he claimed to be some Siberian wizard and knew some magical powers, and even had a soul named after him, and I figured, why not hire him to our, our uh, political advisor list? I'm sure there won't be any bad rumors coming from this. Wow, talk about no rumors coming up. A day later, here's already something bad going on with this guy. Ah, uh, makes the game that much funner, right? Minus 20, yeah, they, thank you, buddy. A war for a piece of sand? Yeah, I mean, that's basically every war nowadays. I wouldn't be too shocked by this. So once again, China has inevitably exploded into chaos, but since I'm Russia, I actually can get something out of this. My focus, Seize Tuva, gives me this right here. Well, after a few months, apparently my, this homeless man I invited into the king's palace is starting to scare our government. Man, I wonder if that could be because he's kind of crazy with this healing thing. Now let me tell you, America, that is very undemocratic of you. And you're going to- oh my goodness. And you're fighting Mexico- what are you doing, big guy? The amount of supplies that this country has is kind of insane. I've had 12 factories on infantry equipment this entire game, and I still have yet to be able to train a single division because the deficit is so large. We're finally about to get out of it though, so like maybe actually can get some divisions on the field. So it appears that the Serbians want our help. Well, I guess I'll give it to them, but not because I like the Serbians, it's because I need to kill myself in a war. Oh, so why did that guy in that portrait look like Franklin Roosevelt? So I just looked up and supposedly in about six days from today, uh, the Archduke here will be killed and hopefully we can actually get this show on the road, because I've been bored for quite some time now just four years of standing here looking at this army and the line it's not very fun there you go not only that our pie chart thing up here is starting to get a little red this is falling into plan perfect recipe for a soviet rebellion even then it took this these austrians a month to even react although for some reason i don't seem to be getting invited into this war i have I thought it would just call me in as soon as the war started because it gave me this event and we're like, do you want to help Serbia? And I said, of course I want to help Serbia, but they declared war in Serbia and I, nothing's going on. And there's World War I wrapped up for you. It's even with Serbia by itself, it still didn't finish by Christmas. More tension's too low for me to declare war on people, so I can't speed the... <laughs> What do you want me to do, game? I wish I wish I could actually find like tutorials and guides with this mod. Like I kid you not, I looked for probably a few hours. Well not a few hours, more like a couple hours. Just for a way to figure out how to do anything in this mod. How to join World War One is Russia and go con I don't even know anything. I'm kinda just freeballing this and hope hoping I actually get what I want out of it. It's amazing how the most fun I've had in this whole game so far is just watching China constantly explode and fight each other. And you know what, I figured it's so fun I might as well let you watch parts of it while I wait for something to actually happen over here. 
But as you can see, this is a very generic Chinese rebellion where it's just a tumor that comes up in the middle of nowhere. And then it spreads like cancer. There's, it's quick and there's no stop to it. Now I just looked up the revolution doesn't even start till next year. God damn it. Why are we researching planes? It's t supposed to be time for war, god damn it. I don't care about Iron Cavalry. I don't care about modernization of our non-existent Austrian fleet. I just want to see someone kill someone else. Not in Asia. Well, if I remember my World War I history well enough, I'm pretty sure this is a step in the right direction. Yay. At the same time. Ah. Oh. That's unfortunate. Guys, you won't believe this. I may have not found in generic portrait's origin or where the generic portrait dude comes from, but I might have just found his grandfather. While I've managed to get my communist support all the way up to 79%, and if this game is historically correct, according to Google, we should have our revolution in about three months. Well, it's three months since the historical date of the Russian Revolution and nothing's happened. No event or anything. No October Revolution. No nothing. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh my god, guys. You wouldn't believe it. I just out of nowhere, in the middle of this paused game, this, this Civil War just ignited. It was unbelievable. I mean, I don't know. Nicholas looks like he has some sort of disease. And I have no idea who this is, but you know what? The Civil War happened. It's like, except there's one problem, and that is the fact that I'm on the wrong side of this conflict. Hey, Snoopy, can you, can you switch my side, please? Thanks, Snoopy. I appreciate it. Now I can actually get this video rolling. Although, to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this one. They actually have quite a lot of divisions on their, their side of the war. Kind of strange I haven't gone to war once in seven years, but... I don't know, I guess that's what happens when you don't really know how to use a mod. I mean, it's a damn good thing that I was training an extra two armies. If I wasn't, I probably was screwed, because they had a bunch of guys storming here. And, well, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but... I think I might be coming out on top in this battle. I'm hoping that this ends the war. And it didn't end the war. God. Uh, 94%. What am I going to have to take now? Now absolutely nobody on this flank. This, where is everybody? There's like 60 divisions. Where the, where are, why is nobody over here? There's just one plane flying over here. And no, nobody to stop. Why? Well, I am thankful that that's finally over. But I'm kind of worried now because I was hoping I would be able to end my video at this time. Not just start it. You know what? I might just go pick on some Chinese warlords for a little bit. I'm also going to change the 20 with because to be honest those 40 with divisions are expensive as hell and they, they don't get anything done. It also kind of relieves their infantry equipment depth. That's honestly the main reason I'm doing it. But I also don't really like 40 with divisions at all. Good lord, I just, even as a communist nation, I still need 49% war attention in this mod. Dude, that ain't happening. It's not like these guys are doing anything to cause a war, they're literally doing the exact opposite. I mean, I even, naval production. Okay, Germany's given up on actually trying to do something with their lives. Might have to call in a special secret agent again. Oh, wow. All diplomatic actions are now allowed. Thanks, Snoopy. You're you're really saving this video the best you can. I appreciate that, buddy. This video kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, our army's looking pretty garbage at their job. I don't know, the fact that we can't even defeat them in a single battle is kind of concerning. Like, how am I supposed to take on some major nation if I can't even win a battle against something like this? Well, I guess on defense we can at least keep them at, at hold or something. They aren't able to push us. Granted, they do have attrition. Oh, by the way, did you know they capitulated? So the invasion of the uh, whatever, whatever this was called, I, f I can't even remember anymore. I really give that little shits about whatever's going on over here. But because that failed, I guess, I guess we'll just have to test ourselves against Mongolia and it's four to 11 mighty divisions. Well, I've got great news. With two divisions, we can take on one of theirs. Yes. There's an opening right here I didn't notice. 
I just lost the war. Damn, the fact they left that opening on the west side of their, their country really screwed me over. Oh shit. I guess I have something to do for the next couple minutes. That's nice. But as I was saying, there is one thing we get out of taking over Mongolia, and that is pretty much the complete ownership of Tanutuva. I mean, we don't own Tanutuva, but we technically control everything it does from this point onward. I mean, what, you wanna... you wanna be with these guys? No. You stay right here with me. You have to talk to me before you do anything now. How does it feel? Oh. You're not communist? Oh, you fucked up, big guy. Yeah, that's what we get for not falling in line with me, Tanutuva. You should have went communist when I asked you to. Although now that I think of it, I never did ask them. Perhaps I was too harsh. Excuse me? Is this Ottoman about... Okay, now I'm confused. It looks like they're trying to walk over the impassable mountains. I don't know what's going on. Well, let's ignore that because we have other things to do. But since half of the Ottomans are supposed to be on this front line of just walking into mountains that they cannot pass, I suppose we can just walk right through them. They're not going to do anything about it, clearly. Uh, lots of gaps in the front line. And the Ottomans don't... F let's not forget also the Ottomans are the ones that were the aggressors here. They are the ones who came in prepared for this war. Not me. I I didn't expect this would happen, and somehow they are less prepared than me. Now, I mean, that's kind of embarrassing. Look at that. I need to keep you in for a little longer so I can actually kill you guys. And now that they have shot those mountains 1,500 times, they don't have the bullets to stop us from completely encircling them. Very unfortunate. Oh. I've seen you gone for the kill myself before Russia can kill me tactic. Germany does that quite a lot in the vanilla game. So honestly, I'm not surprised that they're doing this tactic, but it's kind of... You know, I wanted this land. And you just had to give it away, didn't you? Well, I can join the Entente now. Maybe you can actually kill the Central Powers. Oh! Assume leadership of the faction. Yes, I will. They invite me to the faction because we're at war with the same people. And now they can't leave because I took ownership of the faction. <laughs> I just noticed that my country's color is the exact same as the Ottomans. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of confusing once you actually notice it. The only way I can really tell which front line is which is because my troops are on one side of it and theirs are on the other. But yeah, there you go. Within a couple months, the subpar Ottoman state really showed its true colors right there. You know those seven years where I was doing absolutely nothing? I was spending that time building infrastructure. So the entirety of Poland has 10 out of 10 infrastructure, and I'm doing more than that. But even then, I somehow cannot supply any any of these men at all. Well, let's get the show on the road. Look how badly we're losing. Holy shit. Well, I'm just going to say it's probably a bad thing if they're all attacking or actually confident enough to win. Well, honestly, they're probably right that they can win. Oh my god, look how, look how soft the border on the west is. If only France would actually take something to their advantage for once. I think part of the reason that we were getting beat up so badly is the attrition. So I'm just gonna make a very terrible retreat out of there. And now the last thing I would have expected was the Austro-Hungarians to be the main threat. They're actually the ones pushing me. And causing like complete chaos. I have no idea how to play this mod. That is probably the one thing I've learned today. Don't know how to play as Russia in this mod. I mean, I didn't even know how to start the revolution. I had to literally constantly command a civil war. I mean, I'm defending for part of the front line, but not a lot. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna leave this in the dust. I've been pretty, I'm pretty out of it at the moment. For the few of you that actually watched more than just one of my videos, um, my apologies for not posting last week. I recently started up going to school in person again for, I think it's been about almost a year and a half. It's kind of exhausting, so I, I decided to take last week off, and I'm still kind of. You can probably hear my tiredness in this video, but yeah. Uh, I'll see you next time then. Bye-bye.